Hey guys, this is an intro video to the new tutorial series I'll be working on. It's kind of required unless you're really skilled with API stuff because jumping right into the series it might be a bit confusing. So hopefully this video clears a bit of that up. First, you'll need to create an account on the TD Ameritrade API website. You can do that by going to developer.tdameritrade.com. It'll be the first link in the description as well as down below. And then you go to click on register, fill in all this information, create the account and you should be good to go. After that, you can log in. And then go up here to my apps. Now, this was really weird, but you can see that when I try to click on my apps, this add new app button just kind of disappears. I have no idea why it does that, but if it's doing that to you, just try to click it as fast as you can. Now, name your app whatever you want. Um, I don't think it really matters. For the callback URL, you're going to want to do HTTP colon slash slash local host. And the description, I think it can be whatever you want to. But I will let you know that the first time I did this, it just didn't work for whatever reason. And I also think these have to be approved, so you might want to try to put some effort into these, just in case. Also, if it doesn't work, I wouldn't try to spam this and create as many apps as possible. They might just get mad and delete your account. Anyways, after that, you should see your app listed here. And in the videos, I'll be mostly on this page right here, this APIs, and this is where you'll be able to see um, all the endpoints and all the parameters and everything I'll be talking about. In that way, it'll be a lot easier for you to follow along. The first video will be on getting price history, which is pretty simple, but also one of the most useful things you can do with this API. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, and I hope you guys enjoy this series.